Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to block websites using settings built here in macOS as well as where to find parental control settings also just built natively here in macOS. To get started, come up here to the top left and click on the Apple icon and go to System Settings. In the search, type in Screen Time and then click on Screen Time. And if it's not enabled, go ahead and turn on the toggle. If you're looking for parental controls, you will want to go through every category on this list, but the one we're going to focus on is content and privacy. I will note that you will want to most likely enable a passcode just to make sure settings are not tampered with. I'm going to go ahead and click on content and privacy. And right here we can see restrict explicit content, purchases, downloads, and privacy settings. We're going to go ahead and enable. Again, if you are looking for parental controls in general, you will want to go through every category on this list, but we're going to focus on content restrictions. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And right here is the setting where we can block websites. Now, by default, it's going to be unrestricted. If I click on this menu, I have two additional options. I can click on limit adult websites, which will block those by default, but I can also click on customize and add additional websites to this list. So for example, if I hit the plus, and I'm just going to type in www.ign.com and then click on done, done. And then if I click done again, please be aware that there can be a delay when it comes to blocking it. And so you just want to give it a little bit of time. You may need to even restart the computer, but we're going to go ahead and test it right now just to see if it is blocking it. So let's open up Safari. We're going to type in www.ign.com and we can see that it's being blocked. And let's double check our other browsers here in Chrome. We can see that it is blocking it. Let's double check Firefox. We can see that it's blocking it. And then we'll also just double check Brave and it's being blocked as well. You'll notice each time it has this add website option. Because of that, you will want to make sure that you double check users by going to users and groups. And just make sure that the users that you're trying to administrate for or block content for are not set to admin. If they are, you're going to want to remove those users and add a new account. And just make sure when you add the account that it's set to standard. Now back here to content and privacy, if we go back to content restrictions, there is one additional option. You can come back to customize and if you need to remove something off the list, you can hit the minus or you can use this edit option. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it and hit done. There is one other option, allowed websites only. So if I select this option, it will only allow websites that are on this list. I generally only recommend this if you absolutely need to lock everything down, but please be aware that doing this can cause normal functionality to stop working. For example, if a browser needed to update, it will not be able to do so unless you add an exception here on this list. For the average user, I would recommend just using this middle option and then customizing the list as needed. As mentioned before, make sure you go through all of the options here and do the same here on this list just to make sure that you are aware of all of the different options you have and to also make sure that there aren't any loopholes or ways for users to circumvent the settings that you have selected. That's everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.